In question two, they first ask us to identify the treatments, experimental units, and the response variable. The treatments are each of the different concentrations of the fungus mixture, 0, 1.25, 2.5, and 3.75 milliliters per liter. The experimental units are each container containing a group of insects. Now be careful here, I think some students will think the experimental units are each of the insects, but an experimental unit is what the treatment is actually applied to here. So if they have a container that has lots of insects in it and that one container gets one treatment, then that would be the experimental unit. And the response variable is the number of insects that are still alive one week after spraying the fungus mixture. On part B, they want to know if this experiment has a control group. Yes, it does. The fungus mixture at zero milliliters per liter serves as a control and will help the researchers determine if the spray itself, regardless of the fungus concentration, or even the container or another variable is influencing the insects instead of or in addition to the fungus. The zero milliliters per liter has no fungus in the spray, so it controls for the effect of the fungus. In part C, they want us to describe how the treatments can be randomly assigned to the experimental units so that each treatment has the same number of units. So here's what I came up with. Step one, label the individual containers from one to 20. Next, label 20 equal sized ping pong balls with the numbers from one to 20. Then place the balls in a hat and mix them. Next, Draw five balls and match their numbers to the five corresponding containers. Do this without replacing the balls. Step five, give these five containers the 3.75 milliliters per liter concentration. And finally, repeat step four for the 2.5, 1.25, and zero milliliter concentrations using five balls and their corresponding containers for each concentration. That would give each treatment the same number of experimental units, five. If you liked my explanation of this problem, you might like my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It has 100 problems in it, and every single problem has a YouTube video like this explaining every single step, every single calculator command, everything. In fact, this problem right here is just like problem 31 from my book. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Also, if you're an AP stats teacher and you want a free copy of my book, just send me an email.